Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday morning, time to recap the week. And since I have already recorded a couple of videos this week about my mining proceeds, and I will put a link in the description at the end of the video, that's why this is going to be a little bit shorter. Let's talk about daylight savings, because I really hate it. <laughs> it always brings my biological clock completely upside down and it stresses me. I don't know why, but I don't like it. And I'm not the only one. So first time publicly recorded that this concept of using more natural daylight was introduced in 1895 in New Zealand by George Hudson. And then after World War I, after 1918, a lot of countries adopted to this concept but in the meantime, it is proven that you don't really save energy and it has a lot of negative side effects. So already now, worldwide, 66 countries have opted out of this concept. And uh, on March 5th, Florida Senate passed the Sunshine Protection Act. And uh, of course, it takes an approval from the Congress. So we are not there yet, but hopefully we don't have to opt out ever again from this concept and we can stay in the daylight savings so we don't have to change the clocks twice a year. Let's hop into Bitcoin. The Bitcoin dominance is at 67.4%, which is normal. So we pulled down a little bit and we're currently trending sideways. The good thing is we are still above the EMA ribbon and we also above the 200 day moving average. These are very positive and bullish signals. Now, don't take my word for it because I'm always bullish on, <laughs> on Bitcoin. You know me because I'm a hodler. I do this for the long run because I see the future of Bitcoin very, very positive and bright, especially considering that we have only 21 million and we can't print simply more Bitcoin like the central banks do with our paper money. So in the long run, of course, Bitcoin is very bullish, but also it looks like for the short term, we are in a very bullish pattern. There are many different exchanges where you can trade futures with Bitcoin. BitMEX is one of them. And it was just crazy what happened this week on November 1st. They send out emails to all their users. But instead of putting all the emails in a BCC, in a blind carbon copy, they put them all in the two line and revealed to everyone all their customers. BitMEX was not hacked. It was really just a human error. It was outrageously incompetent. But this, of course, has shattered for many people the confidence in working with this kind of exchange. And I'm sure they lost a lot of customers. Now, look what I found yesterday. When you type Ethereum into the YouTube search bar, this is the first thing that pops up. And you think, wow, Ethereum, ETH, Vitalik Buterin, live interview and giveaway. So let's take a look. Intermediate because strangely, this exact same thing was yesterday. And, and yesterday they gave away 100,000 Ethereum, Will you guys support which equivalates to about $20 million. And, uh, Ethereum? Why no. would Vitalik do this, right? This is the first question no. you should ask yourself. So but hey, it looks legit. Uh, it looks like a real life interview. Systems, and there will be some the channel's name is Ethereum. So Ethereum here it says how this works. Growth settlement systems. We've used it in, you participate, uh, you need to send between two on 200 and Ethereum and, and you will immediately so receive 20 or 2000 Ethereum back. So whatever be, you uh, send, they um, give you 10 times more system. back and you get it back instantly. Yeah, if you send two Ethereum, for, you will be airdropped 20. If you send 10, you get 100. If you send 20, you get 200. And you can read all the comments. Hey, great, I got 22 Ethereum. Nice to have, blah, blah. But then in between, you spot some comments that are deleted. Not now, um, but yesterday I saw some people. And I thought, why would they delete comments? Huh? Of course, if something sounds too good to be true, it mostly is. So let's take a closer look at this Ethereum does, channel. Uh, and if you click here, you can see what this channel is really all about. Oops. <laughs> so just some Vietnamese workers, right? There's nothing about Ethereum. So this is just another rip off, another scam. Guys, don't fall for that. And again, if something sounds too good to be true, it mostly is. Always keep this in mind. People, especially from poor countries, are trying to get their hands on your hard earned money and on your Bitcoin. So don't fall for such scammers, okay? 
on the bright side, on a positive note. When I traveled through Russia last year, I was carrying my EOS 60 Mark II together with my 24-105mm L lens, a very, very heavy combination, 1.5 kilogram heavy, and let me calculate this in ounces, about 53 ounces. So I always carried this extremely heavy combination with me, but it's not only heavy, it's also very obvious because these are large items. The camera is very bulky and the lens is extremely big. So wherever I went, people were asking me, oh, what a nice camera, how much does it cost? Now, this was a combination, I think $3,800. And when you walk with this among poor people that make on average $300 a month, it makes you feel bad. So you, especially for street photography, want something that is not so much in the face, but still delivers really great quality. Now, I got what I wished for. And on Monday, I received this, the Sony A6100. And I already had the 18 to 135 millimeter lens from Sony. That is a really great performer. And look how it is. It's tiny, it's small. This is perfect for traveling because it is not so much in the face. It will not really raise red flags when you walk, even in not so rich areas and when you take pictures. And it is just a lightweight. It weighs just 25 ounces, about 722 gram. The entire combination together, including battery and the memory card and the lens. So it is amazing. And the results, I took a few first images. I'm blown away by this because it easily competes with the way more expensive Canon combo that I used to have. Well, and this was my week in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you soon again. Thanks for watching. Peace.